Hello A crew, hello judges. Uh, thank you very much for giving your time to watch this, this video. First of all, I, I would like to say thank you to everybody that voted uh, at the beginning for, for me for the Master 500 award. Uh, I'm very grateful and it's fantastic to be in this category again. Um, so I would like to get straight into it and answer the questions that have been um, written by the A crew team. So question number one, why do you deserve to be rewarded in this category? Um, now this is quite a difficult question to answer because, you know, you know, picking yourself up in a video can come across as quite arrogant and, you know, self-centered. You know, all, all I can say about this question is for me, you know, yachting is everything. I left school when I was 16, 17 years old. Immediately, I started working in the yachting industry. And so far in the last 16, 17 years, it's been everything that I knew, everything that I know, everything that I do, it's it's my life. You know, for me, it's not a job. It's, it's everyday life. You know, when I wake up in the morning, I'm on board. When I go to bed, I'm on board. And, you know, over the years, what I've realized is whatever you do in life, or whatever I do in life is, what I've chosen is yachting, is be the best at it. So my only competition is myself, and every year I wanna get better and better and better. And I think with the um, feedback we've got from charter clients and charter brokers, our agents, and the reputation of Motio AWOL, we pretty much, you know, in, in a way that we've reached a, a pinnacle, um, I believe, um, purely based on you know wanting to do something different than other charter yachts. We don't consider ourselves a charter yacht. That's the kind of impression that I put on all the crew on board, and also with the owner as well. You know, the owner's given me this this you know this canvas to create something special. And I, I believe that we've done that at AWOL. And I think, you know, with the feedback, um, with all our guests over the last couple of seasons, it's, you know, it's something that the proof is in the pudding. And, um, you know, I'm very, you know, I know it's cliche to say you're very passionate, but it, it is my life, you know, it, it is, it is every day for me. All I want to do is be bigger and better and greater than not everybody else than, than myself. And that's why I believe I deserve to I deserve to win this award. And don't get me wrong, I know even friends of mine, captains in the category, and they are all fantastic. Um, but I think what I do differently is we we are very unique. You know, we're a very unique boat and I don't believe there's been any other vessel like us. And I don't think there'll ever be another vessel, you know, that can compare to us in the future. And um, that's why I deserve to win this award. So question number two, what attributes do you believe make an excellent captain? What makes a very good captain is very good communication. You know, not only with your staff, but with everybody, whether it be with your agent, with the yacht authorities, sorry, the port authorities, whether it be with your suppliers, uh, your provisioners, the owner, charter guests, your agents. Communication is, is the key to a successful trip for your guests, for the crew, and for the, and for the boat. So I'll say communication numbers one, Communication number one, and I'll say, you know, also what makes a very good captain, believe me or not, is not barking orders. Because barking orders, you're not learning anything. And in this industry, what I've learned in the last 16, 17 years is you never stop learning. And, you know, for me, sometimes, no, not sometimes, all the time, I'm very quiet and I listen to what the crew, the people I work with have to say. And then from there, I take a decision. And I believe that what, that's, that's what makes a good captain at the end of the day is that, um, you know, be open to everybody. And what I've learned as well is over the years is never judge a book by its cover. 
Um, I think a good captain, especially in this industry, you know, we have this standard, you know, things like, you know, uh, you know no tattoos can be shown and, you know, we, we judge people by their external uh, appearance. But the reality is I've got a number of crew members on board who do have the tattoos and this kind of thing and they are amazing people and um, at the end of the day they're an amazing crew as well and I think I look I seem for me what makes me is you see the person you don't see the shell and you see people's potential and what they can be and that doesn't come immediately that comes within time and getting to know the people that you're working with so I think that's what makes a good captain. Question number three, how do you ensure the utmost safety on board? Now this question is quite straightforward because you, you know, you can say, you know, we run mini ISM, we've got an ISM company you work with, we've got to go through particular forms and trainings and drills and, you know, for us, you know, we, we do all that because it's part of our ISM, we, we have to do that, we don't have a choice. But also, it's not only that, it's a culture on board. You, as a master on any vessel, whether it be a 15 meter or 150 meter, it's your responsibility to, to encourage a safety culture on board. Now, what does a safety culture mean? It means that it's, it's not a task, it's a habit. So, for example, my chase boat captain you know, when he first started off they never used to put the kill cords on and I said guys put a kill cord on put the kill cord on put the kill cord on now they don't even think about it it's like putting your seatbelt on when you put it in a car it's just you know it's just automatic put your life jackets on it's automatic and for me the safety culture although the ISM is extremely important the safety culture comes first and that's what we do on Moti Yacht AWOL now, fourth and final question is, what is the biggest challenge you have been faced with as a captain and how did you resolve the situation? Now, I wouldn't say this is so much a challenge, but probably one of the most um, scary, uh, life-changing experiences I've had in my 33 years of life is when I was 21, 22 years old, I was a captain on a 23 meter, 78 foot dominator. And we were docked in Barcelona. This is back in 2008. We were docked in Barcelona and the boat caught fire while uh, the stewardess, the deckhand and myself were asleep. And it caught fire like four or five in the morning and we were woken up by the neighbors two boats down screaming fire 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 and we came with the crew mess the the vessels engulfed in flames we attempted to put the fire out but with no luck we managed to escape with our lives and the result in the fire it was it sunk a total loss to the vessel you know everything was gone and you know some people um in life those kind of experiences it's like falling off a horse they don't want to get back on and that scarred me and I'm still scarred till today and what I learned from that is you do get back on the horse and you learn from it and you drill it and you train it and if it does happen again which it can you know what to do in that shit situation and you pass your experiences on to other people which is exactly what I've done. You know, I've been to training centers and, and you know, like blue water and shared my experiences of fire. You know, just, you can't, you, as much as you train and you drill, um, you don't know how you're gonna react in that situation. And um, that's probably been the toughest thing I've had to go through and resolve, you know, not only uh, on board or with the crew, but within myself. So, um, I really hope the answers to these questions for the judges um, will give you the uh, incentive to vote for me. I know there's great other candidates uh, that have been nominated and they all deserve to win. 
Um, and you know, at the end of the day, it's um, it's what we do for a living. I, I love what I do. I've done it since I was a child, basically, and it's all I know. It's what I love. And uh, whatever you choose to do, I look forward to meeting you all at the ceremony. And uh, yeah, thank you very much.